Hey everybody, Dave Nassani, Dave's Hammock Wisdom, five minutes of Dave's Hammock Wisdom, caregiverdave.com, and today I want to talk about stop judging people, right? Have you ever noticed we're always judging people, we're, we're checking them out, see how they look, see what they're wearing, see how they do their hair, we're trying to put them in a box to figure them out, and you know... My mother told me, my father told me at an early age, never judge a book by its cover. And that is so true because I think of all the times that I've been judged and people misjudge me because what they see on the outside isn't necessarily what's on the inside. And even my, my pastor did a sermon about, you know, they judge our Facebook posts. He's, at the golf course playing golf in Hawaii and says, oh man, I'm so jealous, I wish I could play golf in Hawaii, but doesn't know that, that maybe he's going through probably the hardest personal tragedy in his life that he's ever been going through. You just don't know what's going on inside. And he says, never judge your insides based on a person's virtual reality outside. Because that's all we are on Facebook, right? We get our best uh, photoshopped image that we can find of ourselves, touch it up, get rid of all the blemishes, etc. And you know, that's us. And, and we take all those shots of us on vacation or whatever, and they don't know what's going on. They don't know that, that, you know, they're having a rough day or whatever. So stop judging people. Stop, um, judging the outside. Stop trying to categorize people by putting them in a box. You're just going to be wrong 90% of the time, first of all. And, you know, the Bible says, do unto others the way you want them to do unto you. Is that the golden rule? So, I mean, if, if you don't want to be judged, <laughs> and I think it also says, judge not lest you be judged, then stop judging people. I thought that was a uh, an applicable thing to talk about today as I turn on the news and uh, they're, they're trying to decide if if they should vote yes or no on a Supreme Court nominee. And I, forget about politics. I don't care about your politics or, or whether you're for them or against them. But my God, when in America were you guilty, presumed guilty, until proven innocent? You know, they got this backwards. It seems like anybody can come up and make an accusation. And I'm not saying anything about this, but I'm just saying, my gosh, innocent until proven guilty. They are destroying lives. It's like when someone is accused of, of sexual misconduct or, or being a, a pedophile or something, and it's an allegation and they didn't interview and they didn't go through all this stuff. I mean, they're judging. And in America, I was always taught that you are innocent, presumed innocent, until proven guilty. That's what the legal system says. That's what, how it's always been. So let's get back to basics, okay? All right. I didn't mean to be political. I'm just trying to say don't judge. Have a nice day. Talk to you guys later.